one of the major challenge with SDN as a technology is then when a vendor propose a solution to their customer, they assume that they are going to use white uh, box switches, which is not very realistic in a sense because existing customers, existing organization have a big data centers with a lot of legacy switches running into it, so they can't really rip and replace those. So you need to come up with a strategy where you can onboard all these legacy networks on your SDN word. That is a problem that is still kind of, you know, most of the companies are trying to solve. And once we solve that, probably that increase the chances for, you know, SDN to be widely deployed in, in a white greenfield networks and in a brownfield networks. So the major challenges with this is once you think of onboarding all the brownfield network, it means you are getting tons of devices into your network that increase the scale of your network, that increase the challenges for the SDN solution to be scalable to that level, right? So that being the first pro challenge, that is scalability. The second challenge is because you are getting these legacy devices, which has their own proprietary interfaces, right? They, every device talk in a different way. So that comes with a wide variety of interfaces against which you have to write your solution. So that is the second challenge. The third challenge is, although the, given that we have a wide variety of interfaces, you need to write code against it to kind of onboard that device in your SDN world. And if you really want to do that, you have to write a lot of code. But given that we want to move quickly on these things, you need to provide some platform that can, where user can use it and quickly write uh, you know, code and onboard their devices. So these are some of the ch initial challenges that is, you know, SDN is facing. Uh, and, and, and I think if we resolve these things, probably SDN can be, you know, widely deployed across, across the greenfield and uh, brownfield networks. When we started, uh, you know, with some of these use cases, we came up with these challenges that I mentioned, right? And what you need is a scalable architecture for that. And that's where uh, we bring a Lumina microservice framework that works with our Lumina SDN controller, and that basically provides a solution for you know some of these challenges that we uh, push. So what actually it provides, it works with our Lumina SDN controller. It maps all the legacy device to your SDN network. It provides a configuration management where you can go and you know configure these legacy device. It provides services like telemetry, analytics, uh, and and you know uh, alarming mechanism. Uh, so, so these are some of the challenges that that you know Lumina microservice framework with Lumina SDN controller is solving here. The way you know uh, networks providers used to build software were a monolithic stack where everything runs into one process, right? Given the kind of a scale we are going now, going forward, all the most of the organization who are running big networks, this kind of a solution is not not you know practical. So what you have to go is you have to divide these services, run it separately, so that you can horizontally scale it. And so so once you kind of go with that kind of architecture, so these small pieces are basically called microservices. And they are separated, and they talk through PubSub mechanism or you know message bus mechanism, and that's how they interact, and that's how they horizontally can scale, and that basically give agility to kind of you know extend your network, uh, extend your solution to the you know other external providers as well. One of the core value for Lumina networks is we basically prefer to share all these technology, which is generic components, so that people can use it and it, it get a wider adoption in the inter industry, right? So definitely, this technology is very, very likely to be open source soon. It's just that we are we are working on making a proof point where we shows that this technology really works at a large scale and across greenfield and brownfield, and then we need to figure out the community where we can, you know. Uh, push these projects and people can consume it. So it's, it's just a matter of getting a proof point and then finding appropriate community where we can share this technology. Some of the benefits, as, as I already mentioned, right, but the key benefit is you can, you can cater, you can handle your uh, legacy devices and you can uh, you know, integrate that with your SDN solution. That's the first one. Second is you can deploy it a very large scale deployment. You don't you know, restrict by having a centralized controller. So microservice framework that gives you that benefit to kind of go in scale. Third thing is you can integrate with any other third party orchestrator. So you can extend your solution across different vendors with the different property interfaces. 
We do have a service provider that basically use this microservice framework with our SDN controller. We have uh, you know integration collaboration exercises with our uh, vendors like Cisco, Juniper, Calix, where this microservice framework support their devices. Uh, we also have integration with Orchestrator because obviously our service provider has Orchestrator system, so it needs to be integrated with that. And we are also exploring opportunities in the enterprise market to kind of deploy this service.